I feel like every single time I sit down to film, I'm playing around with the camera, the settings, the lights. If anyone actually knows what they're doing on this YouTube game, can you let me know? Because I struggle every single time. I really do. I'm going to hold my hands up. Hello my name's, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now then hi, my name's Imogen. Today I'm very excited because I think we have a great video. So make sure you subscribe, join my family of Huns because today the video is testing new in Primark makeup. It's the new vegan range. I'm so excited. I saw this pop up and I was like, I need to try it. And I need to actually be one of those YouTubers that jump on a video and put it up and do well at it. So here you go. I actually bought every single thing there was to offer me in the Primark Brighton store. We've got eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, highlighters. We've got lip products. So if you want to see how I test out the new 3 Ena times Primark, I think it's 3 Ena or Mina, 3 Ena. Whatever it is, let's test out the new vegan range of Primark. I feel like I'm saying the name wrong. I've looked it up actually on the Instagram and it says 3INA, so I'm assuming it's 3 inner. I thought it was Mina. Because can you see that on the side? It looks like it says 3 inner. I don't know. So I already have foundation and my brows on because there is no foundation in this range. There's also no powder in this range, so everything that isn't in this range, I'll just quickly skip past that. But. Let's test out the concealers. So I got both concealer shades. I got them in the color 330 and 331, just because one was a bit more pinky undertone, the 330, and the 331 has a little bit of a yellow toned undertone, which is amazing. I'm gonna mix them both and hopefully they brighten my under eyes and we can love our lives. I love the packaging. It's really simple and plain, but really classy and just lovely. It looks more expensive than it actually is. These were six pounds each, but vegan things are gonna be a bit more expensive because there's not as much high demand for them. I'm just gonna get a bit of the yellow tone one, which is the 331, which looks a little bit darker, which I'm actually liking because I feel like with the pink toned, it will just look really nice. I don't know what it says too much about this. It doesn't really say too much. Fluid concealer. That's all it says. I mean, the boxes are even really pretty and cute as well, but it doesn't say much. It literally just says it's a colour and a corrector. It literally just says it's a concealer and a corrector, so thank you very much for concealing and correcting all my hidden flaws. <laughs> but I actually saw something recently where Makeup by Ariel, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, and he actually uses like a really pink undertone underneath her eyes to really brighten and lift, so we're actually vibing off this. We're loving life. I'm excited. Just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender angels. I feel like there is no attractive way to blend under your under eyes because you've got to look up and you're kind of like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, oh, that's really nice. That's brightening, isn't it? I've got a really light foundation on because I feel like I just wanted to see if this really looks popping and it does. I'm gonna let you know in the description, by the way. I actually did it last time in the video, but I just did it a little bit late, but I did do it, promise. So I will let you know in the description how long this lasts because it's currently 10, 12 in the morning. Rate that, rate that. I'll put the description up after I've worn it all day. Oh my goodness. How brightening is that under my under eyes? Like, I'm sorry, but I'll push all of the hair back this time. I'm sorry, but what? That's really nice. I need a closer look. It's really nice. I actually can't see this on my skin. Like, I genuinely can't see that it's on my skin. It's kind of just blended into my skin, but it's also giving me coverage. It's not full, full coverage, but it has covered my under eyes. Rate that, rate that. I'm gonna use the Lottie London Ready Set Go powder because it's my favorite powder. And it's actually also sold in Primark. So actually, we're winning, essentially. We are winning. This is the translucent color, and I'm just going to dust this under my under eyes. That feels so soft, that concealer. Like, genuinely, I normally have really creased under eyes. I have actually been using a product recently, which is on my Boots and Super Drug haul, which you should go and check out. It is amazing, and it really does brighten my under eyes, but I still find, in general, concealer just doesn't like my under eyes. However, this product has been helping me. But this, this, six pounds. I actually think I prefer the pinky toned, and I never ever would say that in my whole life, that I like pink undertones, because I normally I'm like, no, stay away from the pink undertones, because I've got yellow toned skin. However, I'm shook. I feel like no one says the word shook anymore. I'm gonna bring it back. Probably not gonna bring it back, but I still wanna say it, shook. Now, because there isn't a massive range of this new vegan range of Primark, I have actually not got an eyeshadow palette. However, I do have a face palette that I'm gonna play with, but I bought this, which looks very cute. This is the cream eyeshadow in the color 321. 321, love that, one, two, three, three, two, one. Anyway, stop being annoying. This is the cream eyeshadow, and this is like a bronzy color. Now, can I just tell you this? This is an actual fact. I wonder if it's still there. No, it's not. Okay, so basically, when I went in yesterday with Pops, we went into Primark, and I swatched this, and I was like, I'm just gonna leave it on my hands and just walk out of the shop, because you know there's never tissues. So I just swatched it. 
It was on last night. We went shopping at like 11 o'clock in the morning. It was on last night at nine o'clock and it was still there. These eyeshadows, I've never actually tried it on my eyelids. However, it just stayed. It was hard to get it off and I was like so impressed by that. So well done, there you go, love in life. I think this was six pounds as well. I need a little bit of a color, so I'm just gonna take any color bronzer and I'm just gonna whack that into my crease just so I've got like a crease color because I don't have anything other than shimmer, so I need something matte just in my crease there. I'm going really simple. I'm not gonna wear any eyelashes with this makeup look. I'm just gonna do some mascara that I bought from the range as well and see how it looks. I kind of vibe off not wearing lashes sometimes. Like I love just having my natural lashes out with some mascara and I love testing new mascaras. So I'm really excited to try that. And I just feel like everything Primark seems to have, I love. It's genuinely like an actual fact. Also, just quickly, I'm obsessed with this. I tried this in my last haul and I got two of them. I've already gone through one of them because I just spray it all over my body, all over my face, everywhere. So this is the Sunset Beam Coconut Primer Water. I'm obsessed with it, it smells unreal. It's amazing to set your face, prime your face, give your face some body, like bring it back. Cause I've just put some powder on underneath. I'm just gonna put this on now just to bring my face back to life a bit. There you go, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm so annoyed, stop. All right, so weirdly enough, I'm probably actually gonna take this on my fourth finger. It's so moussey, like really moussey. I don't wanna go in too hard, so maybe I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just go in really lightly, cause I, um, excuse me, what's going on? That is so pigmented, that is actually ludicrous. I've taken the tiniest splodge and I've actually had to splodge this off onto my palm just so I can actually use this because it's, sorry Hans, but that is genuinely so pigmented. I, I really hope that you can see this. I hope that somewhere along the lines my camera is working. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the rest of that and just pat it on the other side. I love cream products. I just think they're so easy to use. I also think they're just a lot more natural on your skin, but still absolutely popping pigment off. Cream products are so on the go, quick, easy, also look pigmented and they're just so easy to use. You don't even need any brushes. Love that. Angels, I need to talk to you about this. Angels, 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 I need to talk to you about this. It's dried. It's like actually dry. I went to try and like sort of push it and maneuver it around. It's dry. There's gonna be no transfer. This is insane. Like what? How much was this cream eyeshadow? Seven pounds. Seven pounds this cream eyeshadow and it's not budging. It's actually just stuck. It's dried. I wish I got the other color now because the other color was just as pretty. It was a pinky color. What is this little bit of hair that's chilling out? Just doesn't want to love me today, does it? There you go, wonderful. I'm so shook. I know you're gonna be absolutely shocked by this and very surprised. However, I went and bought a liquid liner, Exhibit A. So before we go in and try and do a wing liner, I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes just because I'm buzzing that this is dry, so it means it's not gonna actually bring off any product because, you know, these little situations over here, they do sometimes take off your makeup and you're like, why, 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 why? I actually like to dab these, by the way. You're gonna be like, what's going on? But it makes them bigger for me. Like, that's took off none of the product. Like, genuinely none. It's already dried in the space of 0.27 seconds. I just needed to look closer. It's actually taken off none of the cream eyeshadow. And what I mean, I'm so shocked. Like for me, that's a really big thing because cream eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, metallic eyeshadows, they're very hard to lay and they're very hard to stay. Lay and stay. They don't really stay put once you start doing other things, especially with eyelash curlers. They just kind of just, it takes off that bit. It's done nothing. This is genuine shock. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, which is the pen eyeliner, three inner. Three inner? I wanna say three inner. I wanna say three inner. Okay, so it's number 320, pen eyeliner. Ooh, okay. I get so nervous. I get so genuinely nervous. Right, let me bring my mirror closer. Just because I'm awful at this. Oh, it's really nice, because it's not really liquidy. You know those ones where you're like, but why? Genuinely, why? The concentration was so real. Did you feel that? Because I felt that. Here she goes, she's trying it. She's really trying it. Angels, I think that was a little bit of a successful wing. <gasps> I love it when I do something okay because then I'm like oh my goodness people are actually gonna like watching the makeup things I do because otherwise when I do it badly I'm like but why why are you even saying yourself you're gonna do a beauty video because you just aren't pun did you see that face yeah I'm gonna do the other one off camera because I don't like the pressure too much but I really like this pen because it's not super liquidy you actually have to like brush it on like a pen you know when it's really liquidy you're like oh that's gone wrong 
wonderful. And it's wet and it's flying all over the place and you're like, oh why? I was just genuinely talking to the camera and it was already off. So, was I just talking to myself? Anyway, I'm gonna take this, which is the Definition Mascara. And this is, so do you think it is three in there because it's only got three products in it? No, definitely not. So this is number 320. I want to know the whole sort of premise behind it. I tried reading up on it, but it didn't really say too much, but oh, okay, this is a nice wand. Oh my goodness, this wand is so cool. It's got like bristles that are thicker on one side and longer and then shorter on the other side. If everyone's mascara wand had it like this, Imogen would be happy. So I'm gonna go in with the longer side. Oh wow, baby girls. And then I guess the shorter side is kind of like for the top bit and also for your bottom lashes because the bottom lashes, hands. Does anyone have that stress? It's a hard struggle. The bottom lashes, just like the mascara just comes off for me and I'm like, you all right? Really like this wand. Really, really like this wand. If my hands are out there and wanting vegan, cruelty-free makeup, then Primark have just done that. They've actually just done it. I forgot I've got to put a full face of makeup on because all I've got left is highlighter and lip products and a face palette. So that's gonna be sad. Angels, my lashes look really nice because I don't have very long lashes, I really don't. Like I'm not gonna sit here and start claiming that I do because I don't. I've just put some bronzer on. What else did I do? No, that's it. I just put some bronzer on, a little bit of cream bronzer and a little bit of a bronzer on top. There you go. But I still can't get over this, like genuinely can't get over this. Honestly, I'm not just saying this, I'm so shook, like I'm so surprised. I'm not trying to look at what's inside it. It's from Spain. Okay, so it's already a company in Spain and they've collaborated with Primark, there you go, there you go. Anyway, I'm actually like in love, genuinely. This is such a natural kind of makeup look. Anyway, okay, let's go on to the highlighter stick. So this stick highlighter was eight pounds. So look at the color of it, it looks, genuinely insane and again your baby girl she loves a liquid product so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna put it actually on the back of my hand that is just chilling there still gonna stay there I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand it's in the color 330 I don't know if there was another color of it but there wasn't in the Brighton store okay so I'm just gonna then pick it up I feel like that's not gonna work Imogen stop annoying me I'm gonna take it on my fourth finger is that what I'm gonna do and then just pat it on Genuinely, what is going on? What is actually happening? What is actually happening? Should I just draw it on? Yeah, let's just draw it on. <gasps> oh my god, it smells so nice. And I'm just gonna beauty blend it in. Wow, that is a glow. That is such a nice glow. And you know what? I will say, with liquid products, when you layer them over the top of powder, they're actually unreal. Like, genuinely unreal. You can just keep layering liquid products and you're never gonna look cakey. You don't have that kind of, like, stodgy vibe where you don't see, like, a lot of your, um, what is it, like, your texture to your skin. I don't know all these terminologies, I'm rubbish. Really, really nice. A little bit here as well, because I like a little bit there. It's so soft and subtle, but still highlighted and lovely. Okay, so then we're gonna take this one, which how much was this one? Because I haven't been telling you. Just to let you know, the pen liner was £5.50 and the mascara was £7. This is £11.50. So this is the Glowing Face Palette. So this is actually more expensive on the Primark range, but it's a problem because no one uses vegan products. Like, vegan products aren't as in demand, so it's supply and demand. So the more people that buy vegan products, the cheaper they'll be. I watched this food program on it the other day. So what I would like to do is, I'm probably gonna take a little bit of this gold and a little bit of this rosy gold color. Shall I wet my face? Yeah, wet my face with my coconut water. I'm just eating. It's still, it tastes nice. I am still eating it. So let's go. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why does this feel so buttery and soft on my skin? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do you ever remember what film that's from? It's Annie, isn't it? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya. Tomorrow, you're only... Stop, I'm so cringe, I know. But if you came to this channel for something that wasn't cringe, then you found the wrong place. I'm really sorry. This, again, smells unreal. Or is it the coconut spray mixed with it? Whatever it is, it's nice. I'm gonna use a little bit of this pink, actually, for a blush. It's probably gonna be too highlighted, but... Your baby girl. I'm just actually slapping my face in. I'm joking, it's actually quite soft. <gasps> oh, honey bees. Oh my God, that's so nice. I really have been obsessed with like a blush highlight at the moment because I just feel like it ties the highlight into the blush. I am a glowing princess. 
and I should always be a glowing princess. It's a fact. If you don't feel like a glowing princess every single day of your life, then what is life? <laughs> I'm going to take it, ooh, and I'm going to try and just look forward and just brush it under my eyes and just give me a little, oh, that is nice. Angels, what is going on? Imogen's actually creating a cute makeup look. You're all probably like, it's standard basic, but I actually like standard basic makeup. Like, I really like natural, everyday makeup skin, you know? I feel like when I put a lot of makeup on, sometimes in my story times, you're all like, you look better without makeup. And I'm like, thanks, Hans. That's a really big compliment, but also, do I look bad with makeup? <laughs> so, next product is this lip pencil, which is very exciting. This is in the colour. Do you want to tell me, hon? Let me get it out and see if she says the colour on the side. Normally it says three something. One, two, three, three, two, one. Three, one, zero. Love that. So this is like a pinky colour. I haven't put any pink anywhere on my face, which... Oh, I have an idea. I have a really good idea. Okay. Overdraw those lips. This is so soft. This is so soft and smooth and creamy. You know those lip pencils which actually feel like a HV pencil from school and you're like, well, what is happening? Okay. Obsessed. Not with the face right now because I need to put some lipstick on. So I got two different things. I got the 310 matte lipstick so I guess that matches because it's got the same colour. Ooh, wow. And how much was the matte lip, hun? The matte lip was £4.50. Lovely. Then I got the Longwear Liquid Lipstick in the colour 311 and this was £7. So let me have a look-see. I think what we'll do is we'll do two. So we're going to go with this lovely Longwear Lipstick and just kind of, ah, oh, that's really nice. I hope it's not matte and really drying and horrible throughout the day. I'll let you know because I have really dry lips anyway and they're just not, they're not great. They're not great throughout the day and matte lips don't really look good on your baby girl. However, we're gonna try and make it work. For that dries, I'm gonna go in with this one as well. This is the matching one to the lip liner. Don't take it fully out and you'll break it. Oh, let me pat off some of the excess in the middle. I'm wearing a white shirt, so it's gonna go all over my white shirt. Wonderful. Let's just put this on. Oh my goodness, I feel like I match the roses here. You can't even see them. I feel so pretty. Angels, I feel so pretty. Wow, do you know what I'm actually gonna do? You might be like, what's going on? I'm just gonna put a bit of this lipstick over the top. It's really creamy, this lipstick. Is it matte? Does it say it's matte? It does say it's matte. Maybe it really dries matte. I look absolutely crazy right now, but it's fine. I'm just going to blend this in with the beauty blender. Isn't it funny how when you watch someone do use a beauty blender, you think they're really, really hurting their face, but they're not? You're like, but actually, it's just quite soft. Hmm. I just wanted a little bit more of a blush cheek. <gasps> I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. Okay. I do know what I'm going to spray, though. I'm just going to take a bit more of this coconut water. You know me. I love a mist. How much did I actually spend on all the makeup? All the makeup came to, well I actually don't because I added in about £74.50. I'm going to curl my lashes once more. And you know what? This is actually just a joke. Like, you can't take this cream eyeshadow off. Okay, flick my hair forward. And that is it, my angels. That is the finished makeup look using the three inner or three inner, whatever it is, the new vegan range at Primark. I am shooketh to the core. I like genuinely, my little apple core is shaking. Honestly, if I could recommend one thing out of all of it, it's those cream eyeshadows. Like genuinely, I can't explain it to you. It dried so quickly. It's not been taken off by any product I've put on top. Like I've put liquid liner on, I've put my eyelash curlers on, I've been using mascara around it and it just looks amazing. The highlight is beautiful, the cream and the powder. Like I used all four shades in that. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of myself. Pat yourself on the back. Probably just put makeup all over the back. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The lip colour is divine. I really like a pink lip. I love pink nudes. I think this is such a natural pink, soft, really pretty vibe. And I'm actually in love with it. Genuinely, I really hope this lasts. I really hope this wears and it really looks nice throughout the day. So I'll definitely let you know. So go to my description now and see the full review and I'll let you know a breakdown of what broke down or what did really well. Concealers are a really hard one for me and I'm actually like so incredibly impressed. It was so lightweight, the formula. So when it was on my skin, I was like, this isn't gonna be coverage. But it looks like really good coverage. Like it looks really brightening on my under eyes. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and let you think what you wanna think. So let me know if you like this video down below by giving this a video, a thumbs up, I'd be so grateful. Make sure you subscribe because I've got loads of different testing videos, loads of different challenges, loads of different family videos, anything, you name it, I've got it. Because you just gotta use your imagination. Way, whack that one in there. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe, I'd be so grateful. I love you all so much. Until next time. I'm going to be shook forever. I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. Bye. I love you all so much. Like, this won't come off the whole day. I know it.
Oh, I really like this makeup look. I really hope you do as well. I love you all so much. Bye, angels. Bye.